special day, man. This is a special day because we are shooting from the foundation of orthopedics and complex spine. And uh, of course, uh, coming up much later, we're going to be talking to the founder and CEO of this great joint, Dr. Oheneba Bwachi Ajay himself. We're going to be also chatting with uh, Betty, who is the administrator, and some of the volunteers that work in this fantastic hospital, man, built by one great noble Ghanaian. Show some love, man. It's beautiful. And, and the, the impressive part is that he has all these doctors from the U.S., from, from Canada, from Spain, all these world-class doctors who come to Ghana to work for free. When they come, they pay their own air flight, they pay their own hotel bill, and pay their own food so they can come to Ghana and work for us, man. Show some love, man. And it's something that we can learn as Ghanaians, you know, how we can die for each other a little bit, you know. I don't mean the kind of die that we have been ordered to kill people in other areas, but I mean, <laughs> Sacrifice. That's what I'm talking about here. Show some love on your hands. Right now, I'm going to be having a chat with this fine young lady who's called Elena Oredu. She actually works here, but she came in here with a complex spine, and uh, he was, she was operated on by Dr. Boachi, and, and she recovered beautifully, and she now works here. Show some love, man. Show some love. <laughs> but, um, thank you. Before we meet her, let us look at before and after pictures. Now, take a picture of her before the surgery. Take a look at this. Well, well, well that was her before she came with that spinal problem, very complex. It's called scoliosis, I believe. And take a look at her after. And we are here with her like show some love for Elena already. And how are you? I'm fine, sir. You're fine? Yeah. And you're working here as a as a front desk executive. Front desk executive. At administration. And ad okay. So you came in here how many years ago with the with the condition that you came? That's about eight years ago eight now. Eight years ago. Yeah. yeah. Where were you where were you born? I'm born in Accra here. Oh, you were born in Accra here? Yeah. And growing up with that condition, how was it? Do you remember going to school, mm. dealing with kids, growing up? How, how, how? Yeah, growing up with this condition mm. um, is a very difficult situation because I became a drop out. You had to drop out of school? Yeah. yeah? But people were teasing you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it got to a time I couldn't walk. Oh, really? Yeah, it affects my both legs, and I have to sit in the house for years. And wow. wow. It was very difficult for me. Wow. So how did you find out about Dr. Boachi? Who told you about him? Yeah, I saw Dr. Boachi on telly. Oh, you saw him on TV? Yeah. I was watching the news in the evening with my uncle and uh, we saw Dr. Wachi on telly that they came every year and Ghana for surgeries mm -hmm. at Kolebu. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how, how did you get in touch with him? We saw him on TV. How did you actually link up with him? Yeah, we went to Kolebu to make the follow-ups. Okay. And we got to know they come to um, one of a clinic at um we should trust okay trust hospital okay yeah. okay okay so that's where we started our um trying to get get a, get a hold yeah, of them yeah how long was it from the time you saw him on tv and the time you met him how long did it take hmm. it took like three years three years yeah wow so the day you finally met him tell me what happened <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the day I finally met Dr. Awashi was a great honor to me because I previously saw the good things that he did for someone, mm. straightening the back of someone, kept. So I was very much impressed that 
but even seeing him will help me yeah yeah, yeah to yeah. recover wow yeah wow. So, so basically, um, so you met him, and he had to. Do, where, where did you have your surgery? At the tr Trust Hospital or at no, Kolebu? No, Kolebu. Yeah. yeah. The day you went in for the surgery, do you remember the day very well? Yeah. What was going through your mind? A lot, a whole lot of things was going through in mind because I've heard so much about going for surgeries, people don't come back again, mm -hmm. it's painful, you go through a lot mm -hmm. of pains, mm -hmm. a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So I was very much scared. But then, before going for the surgery, um, they talked to me, encouraged me, a whole lot, give me some support. Who talked to you? Aunt Betty. Okay, okay. Betty Wright. Betty Wright, yeah. And she gave you a lot of encouragement. Yes. Yeah. And some of the workers around, Pastor Julie, my parents, mm -hmm. everyone in the yeah. family. Wow. So you went through the surgery. Of course, thank God it was successful. Yeah. When, when they finished the surgery and you were recovering in the recovery room, what was the feeling when, when you were coming into, back into consciousness? In fact, when I woke up at theater and I saw the machine surround me. That was after the surgery? Yeah, after the surgery. In fact, I, I got frightened because you could see a whole lot, a whole lot of machines around. People lying on bed. Mm. So di you didn't know where you were or you knew they had finished the surgery? I knew they had finished with the surgery. Mm. But then I didn't know where I was. You were still yeah. dazed. Yeah. Yeah. So when you finally recovered, and, and the first time you saw yourself with your straightened uh, back, how was the feeling? I was very much happy. I was very much happy. Because after the surgery, when I came back to the ward, and I saw people who are the ward using a whole lot of help with their working. But with mine, getting up from bed was easy for me. Wow. I can then, wow. I mean, I can go to the bathhouse, bath myself, and without any assist. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Great. So, wow. Fantastic. Man. And um, uh, I have my final question. Um, and now you're working here this, with the yeah. Dr. Watches. Uh, how did you end up working here? Yeah, I end up working here because Dr. Boachi gave me some support after the surgery, mm -hmm. schooling. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, Dr. Boachi is like a father to me, wow. more than a father to me. Wow. Yeah. He gave me all the need that I need to go to school, finish my junior, second, and secondary school also so and then he hired you to work in his office yeah fantastic yeah he's an angel huh <laughs> he's a wonderful man well, thank you much for sharing the story with us <laughs> Good story indeed absolutely wonderful story indeed and of course um stick around uh, we're going to get to meet the man himself later on stick around we'll be right back Come on,